Voice of Restoration with Dr. Amaka Chukwemeka on Amazing Fire Television, Channel 15.9 Houston, Texas, every Wednesday at 12 noon and every Saturday by 8 p.m. CST. It is time to arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The voice of restoration is the voice of hope. For inquiries, call 832-526-8181 or visit www.cityoflightinternational.org. Hello viewers, welcome to Voice of Restoration with Pastor Dr. Amaka Chukremeka. It is another time of refreshing in God's presence. And remember, I'm always so excited to bring you the Word of God. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 119 and in verse 130, the Bible said the entrance of your words gives light and it gives understanding to the simple. So it's always my prayer as any time I come your way that as we share the word of God that it will bring light into your very sitting room where you're watching me from, your office, your job, wherever you are, listening, wherever you are under the sound of my voice or watching me, I pray that the Word of God will penetrate with the light of God and make everything that is impossible in your life to become possible because that is what the Word of God does. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So today we will continue from where we stopped the last time on seen from afar praise the name of jesus we've done the part one the part two of it so today we're going to be looking at the part three of seen from afar hallelujah so let's quickly go to the book of mark chapter 11. mark chapter 11 i'm going to read from verse 12 through 14. the bible said the next day as they were leaving bethany jesus was hungry hallelujah jesus was hungry seeing in the distance a fig tree with a leaf he went to find out if it had any fruit when he reached it he found nothing but leaves because it was not yet the season for figs verse 14 the bible said then he said to the tree may no man or may no one ever eat fruits from you again and his disciples saw his disciples had it praise the name of jesus so the last time on um seen from afar we did talk about a lot of things that happened especially in this particular scripture how jesus was moving from um living bethany and he was hungry and he saw a fig tree believing that there will be fruit on that fig tree because he saw leaves remember i told us that the fig tree the leaves of the fig tree comes out before the fruit praise the name of jesus and anytime you see a fig tree with leaves it means it must have some fruit under it and so the bible said that jesus went to this fig tree to get something to eat and unfortunately there was no fruit but leaves and Jesus was angry the Bible said and he caused that tree and I did remember telling us that one of the things that made him cause that tree was deception because he felt deceived by the leaves praise the name of Jesus he felt deceived by the leaves that the fig tree was showing we did also talk about importance of fruitfulness why is it important that we must be fruitful we did talk about a lot of things praise the name of Jesus hallelujah which includes that it is a command from God we also said it is an expectation from God we also said that fruitfulness bring glory and honor to God praise the name of Jesus we also said that fruitfulness proves the reality of our discipleship we also said again that fruitfulness distinguishes us from the others praise the name of Jesus and finally we did say that fruitfulness connects us to our source praise the name of Jesus so what this scripture we are reading in the book of Mark chapter 11 means is that God expects us to be fruitful. God expects every child of God to be fruitful. So we looked at all of that. We also looked at the tools we need to be fruitful. Praise the name of Jesus, which involves a good soil. We talked about the good soil. We talked about a good seed. We talked about having faith in God. Praise the name of Jesus. We talked about uh, careful cultivation. We talked about um, having water. Praise the name of Jesus and fertilizer. And we talked about rain and shine, sunshine. We also talked about being ready to be pruned. Praise the name of Jesus. So these are some of the tools that we need to be fruitful, some of the things we need to do. And so today we'll be going over to the patry. Praise the name of Jesus. And we're going to be looking at the things that can hinder fruitful 
fruitfulness. We've looked at fruitfulness itself. We've looked at the things that we need to you know the things that we need to have to be fruitful and today we'll be looking at the things that can hinder fruitfulness praise the name of jesus christ hallelujah let's quickly go to the book of james amen james chapter 1 verse 17 to 27 praise the name of jesus from verse 17 to 27 the bible reads every good and perfect gift is from above Coming down from the Father of the heavenly light, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruit of all he created. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen. Now, I want us to pay attention to verse 19. The Bible said, everyone should be quick to listen. And then he said, be slow to speak and slow to become angry. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 20 said, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Praise the name of Jesus. Human anger does not require, it does not produce the righteousness that God requires, or that God desires rather. Verse 21 said, therefore get rid of all moral fields and evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word of course it should be the word of god planted in you which can save you praise the name of jesus he said do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves Praise the name of Jesus. He said, do what he says. So don't just listen to the word of God, but do what the word of God says. Verse 23, the Bible said, anyone who listens to the word but does not do but does not do what he says. It's like someone who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. Verse 25, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it not forgetting what they have heard but doing it they will be blessed in what they do praise the name of jesus those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues you do not bridle your tongues you do not watch over your tongues uh, the bible said they deceive themselves and their religion their belief is worthless Praise the name of Jesus. Finally, verse 27, the Bible said, Religion that God, uh, the Father, God, the, our Father, accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and, to, and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the word. Praise the name of Jesus. Keeping yourself out of pollution is one true religion that God the Father accepts. Now, these um, verses we read explained a lot of things about some of the things that can hinder spiritual growth, that can hinder fruitfulness. Praise the name of Jesus. So the first thing I picked from these scriptures we will read is filthy talk. Praise the name of Jesus. Filthy talk. Where we saw in James chapter 1 verse 19, he said, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to anger, and slow to speak. Praise the name of Jesus. Filthy talk. Now, what is filthy talk? Filthy talk, it is contrary to the word of God for a Christian. Some of us Christians, when we open our mouth, we don't want to hear what comes out from our mouth. We say everything. Praise the name of Jesus. Everything is joke for us. Everything is fun for us. Everything everybody else out there says, the Bible says, stay away from filthy walk, filthy talks. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, be slow to speak. Don't just open your mouth and be saying things. Watch what you say. What comes out of your mouth? Watch the kind of things you say as a child of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. If you go to the book of Philippians 1.27, the Bible says, only let your conversations be it as become it the gospel of Jesus. Let your conversation carry grace. Let your conversation carry God. Let your conversation be of good conduct. Praise the name of Jesus. Be, let your conversation profess Christ. Let your conversation encourage somebody else. Let your conversation come with good news. Don't, don't, don't let filthiness fill your mouth as a Christian. Anytime you open your mouth, what comes out? So this kind of thing can hinder your fruitfulness. 
deceitfulness. It can hinder your spiritual growth. Another thing that filthiness can do Praise the name of Jesus. When we begin to do a filthy, you know, when we begin to do filthy talks, it is a true revelation of our character. It reflects who we are. Ephesians chapter 2 and in verse 3, the Bible said, Praise the name of Jesus. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of the flesh. So when we begin to talk, sometimes what we say is a manifestation of what is on the inside, out of the abundance of the heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So the things we say is a reflection of what is on the inside of us, is a reflection or a revelation of who we truly are. You know, sometimes people will say something and say, oh, I don't mean it. It's a joke. That's not true. Oh, I'm just saying it. Before you even say it, you've already thought about it. So it is coming out from the inside of you. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another thing that this filthy talk does is that it's a revelation of an individual's heart. This shows what you have in your heart. Matthew chapter 12 and in verse 34, the Bible said, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of your hearts, your mouth speaks, praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible said that a good man out of good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things and an evil man out of evil treasures bring it out bring it out for evil things what did it tells you it means that you cannot give what you don't have it means that you can only give what you have so whatever that is coming out from your mouth is as a result of your true character and as a result of your true state of mind praise the name of jesus number two thing that can hinder um spiritual growth or can hinder us from being fruitful is the desires of the old man praise the name of jesus the desires of the old man James chapter 1 and in verse 21 Praise the name of Jesus. James chapter 1 and in verse 21, the Bible said, Therefore get rid of all moral fields and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word of God that is planted in you. Praise the name of Jesus. Do away with immoral, with things that are filled and the things that are evil. The sin of the old man, the sin, the desires of the old man, once that desire is there, once we want to go back to Egypt, once we want to continue living our lives the way we were living it before we met Jesus, before we got born again, before we encountered Christ, you know, you we cannot serve two masters at the same time. You cannot be served. I mean, you cannot be walking with God and you're holding hands with the devil. Praise the name of Jesus. Is either you are here or you are there. You can you cannot be here and there at the same time. Praise the name of Jesus. So the desires of the old man is one of the things that hinders fruitfulness. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why the Bible instructs us to lay aside all filthiness. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, lay aside all filthiness and all wickedness. The Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and in verse 9, he said that the heart is deceitful above all things and the heart is desperately wicked. He said, who can know it? That's why the Bible said there is so much wickedness going on in the world. There is so much wickedness and with all this wickedness, it is impossible for us to grow. It is impossible for us to bear fruit. You can bear fruit with so much wickedness and so much hatred, so much anger, so much, you know, gossip, so much going on when you're hating on people. You cannot move forward with that. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So the third thing that can hinder our growth, uh, our fruitfulness or spiritual growth is a nasty temper, a very bad temper. James chapter 1 verse 19 where we read the Bible say, where for my prayer love brethren let every man be swift to hear so our temper is important that is why the bible admonishes us here Praise the name of Jesus to be slow to anger. He said, be slow to wrath. If you read verse 20, he said, for the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. Our anger profited nothing. There is nothing our anger, you know, our excessive anger, it does not bring out the righteousness of God. Praise the name of Jesus. So if we have a nasty temper, hallelujah. If we have a nasty temper, a bad temper, 
it will be impossible to grow because our temper will always stand in our way. On our way, anytime we want to do something, we go overboard. Anytime, you know, we overreact to everything, we take things to the extreme because of our hot temper. I pray that God will help us with temper. You know, this is one of the things that is affecting a lot of Christians. And because of hot temper, we are impatient. Temper will make you to be so impatient. Temper will make you not to trust people. Temper will make you to, you keep making mistakes. You keep assuming things and you keep getting them wrong. But it is my prayer for you today that that will not happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The temper is probably one of the hardest things that, you know, you, you have to get rid of as, as a Christian, as a person. Temper is, it is the tough one. It's the one you, you really have to be conscious about it. You have to make a conscious effort. You have to realize that, look, first of all, I have temper and this is not good. It's something I have to do away with. But some people will say, oh no, leave me alone. That is who I am. That is part of my life. Some people will say that is how God made me. I cannot change it. Remember the Bible said that if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. All things have passed away and all things have become new. There has to be some kind of newness. There has to be something new that God needs to do in our life. But first, we have to come to him with a broken heart. We have to come. You know, I keep telling us that the worst deceit in life is the self-deceit. I can deceive everybody, but I cannot deceive myself. I can lie to everybody, but I cannot lie to myself. I can hide the truth from everybody, but I cannot hide it from myself. Why? Because I know the truth about me. If I did something today and I am telling you I didn't do it, it didn't change the fact that I know that I did that thing. What am I trying to say? Being angry or having a bad temper, a nasty temper, is something we need to take to the Lord in prayer. It's something we need to go before God and say, okay, God, I can't deal with this. I don't know how to do with this. I have this temper and I don't like this temper. Can you help me, Lord? And trust me, God will help you. Having to have people share testimonies and said, I used to have this kind of temper. I used to be this way. I used to be that way until I began to pray about it and God helped me. It is my prayer for you today that God in his infinite mercy will help you to deal with every nasty temper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Again, the Bible said in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and in verse 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, meaning that God can help me to control my temper, meaning that God can help me to get through this. I've already said that. So it is my prayer that you will be humble enough to go to God in prayers and to surrender your emotions and to surrender your temper. Sometimes some people don't want to go through that. Sometimes it could be as a result of mental health. Sometimes it could be as a result of the depression, as a result of defeat in life, as a result of disappointment, as a result of the things that you are going through or you've been through. Sometimes you don't want to be nasty. Sometimes you really don't want to be a, a bad person. You want to be a good person. I do understand that life happened to people. Things happen to people and that is why you have to take it to the Lord in prayers and say, Lord, help me with this because I can't help myself. And I pray that as you go to the Lord in prayers, that your answers will be met with solutions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. The fourth thing that can hinder us from growing is failure to cultivate Christian character. Praise the name of Jesus. Being a Christian is something you have to be intentional about. Praise the name of Jesus. You have to be intentional about your Christian life. You have to, you have to know that, look, now my life is different. There is something different about me. I am no longer the old person. Even though sometimes, you know, like St. Paul said, that the things I want to do, I see myself not doing them. And the things I don't want to do, I see myself, praise the name of Jesus, I don't want to do them, but I see myself doing them. It is part of it, praise the name of Jesus. So when you begin to cultivate a Christian character, begin to make a conscious effort, begin to look at Jesus, the author and finisher, begin to study the word of God, begin to ask yourself, what do God want me to do in this situation? What will Jesus do in this situation? How would Jesus have handled this case in this situation. Praise the name of Jesus. You became conscious of who you are. You become conscious of whose you are. You begin to differentiate between wrong and right. You begin to differentiate between good and bad. You know, every human being that God created, we have conscience. We have the spirit to 
to be able to determine whether something is good or whether something is bad. Remember that the Bible told us, you know, that if you know what is good and you are not doing it, he said it has become a sin for you. And I am praying that God will help us to begin to cultivate Christian characters in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And this was another thing that can happen when you did not cultivate a Christian character. Part of it is failure to pray when you are not praying because it is the char characteristics of a Christian to pray. So when you are not praying, you have not cultivated that character. Praise the name of Jesus. When you don't study the word of God, which is one of the characteristics of a Christian, when you don't study the word of God, you are giving the enemy the room or the chance or the, opportun or the opportunity to bring you down, to make sure that you don't grow spiritually or that you're not bearing any fruit. Praise the name of Jesus. Again, failure to hide the word of God in our hearts. It is the characteristics of, every, of, of Christians or it should be our characteristics to hide the word of God in our hearts. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible said in the book of Psalms chapter 119 and in verse 11, he said, thy word have I hid in my heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Your word, I have hidden it in my heart. And when you put the word of God in your heart, when you hide the word of God in your heart, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances, no matter whatever that rises against you, there is always a word in your heart. There is always a word of encouragement. There is a word of prayer. There is a word of faith. There is a word that is there telling you that God got your back. Praise the name of Jesus. So it is very important. Another one is failure to attend the house of God regularly. Praise the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. The Bible said not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exalting one another and so much the more and so much more. Praise the name of Jesus. As yes, see the day approaching. The Bible said we should not forsake the assembly of the brethren. You know when we come together I encourage you, you encourage me. The things you are going through, the things I have been through, the things you have challenges or the things you have faced may be the things that have already conquered. So we share our testimonies together. We pray together. You know, because of the pre and post pandemic eras, you may not physically do them, but it's always important to have brethren praying with you, to have brethren, you know, who is your associate? Who are your friends as a child of God, as a Christian? Where are you pitching your tent? Praise the name of Jesus. So it's very, very important for you to have people like you. The Bible said that two cannot work together except they agree. It has to be people you are in agreement with. It is very important that we do that. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So another thing or some of another thing that can also hinder fruitfulness is disobedience praise the name of jesus john chapter 14 verse 23 disobedience john chapter 14 verse 23 the bible said jesus replied anyone who loves me will obey my teaching so if you're not obeying the teaching of jesus if we are not obeying the teaching of jesus then we are showing disobedience and it is not possible that we can be fruitful spiritually that we can grow another thing that can hinder us is on guided heart. Praise the name of Jesus. A heart that is not guided. Proverbs chapter 4 and in verse 23. Praise the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Above all else, guide your heart for out of your heart comes all the issues of life. Another thing that can hinder us is laziness. Remember Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4. The Bible said that those that watch the wind. Praise the name of Jesus. If you keep watching the wind, he said you will never plant. If you keep watching the clouds, you will never do anything. You will it will make you lazy. Another thing is distractions. First Peter chapter 4 and in verse 2. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said as a result they do not live the rest of their earthly lives for evil human desires but rather to do the will of God. Praise the name of Jesus. That's on distractions. Then another thing that can cause that is offenses. Offenses will find that because of time we may not read all of that but you will find that in the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 15 and 14. 
Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 to 17. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible said, if your brother sin against you, he said, go and talk to them. Some of us, when somebody sin against us, we don't go to them. We don't talk to them. We'll make sure we get a microphone and we make sure we have a phone in our hand and we make sure the whole world hear about it. The Bible said, go to them and talk to them. Praise the name of Jesus. Another thing is desires. Praise the name of Jesus. Desires of the heart. We'll see that in Colossians 3, 5 and Galatians 5, 17. Another thing is certain relationships. Praise the name of Jesus. Real quick, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. The Bible said, 1 Corinthians, hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. The Bible said, do not be misled. Bad communication corrupts good character. So the kind of communication you keep can also determine where you will go and how far you will go with your spiritual growth and your, your spiritual, your bearing fruit. Praise the name of Jesus. Your fruitfulness is the, it depending sometimes the kind of company, the kind of friends you keep can also determine where you are going. Again, if you go to the book of Proverbs chapter 14 and in verse 7, I love this scripture so much. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 7, the Bible says, stay away from a fool. Why? For you will not find knowledge on their lips. So if you keep communicating with fools, if you keep keeping fools around you, obviously you're going to become like them. Hallelujah. It is my prayer you don't become like them because you need wisdom. Another thing is negative thoughts. If you go to Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, the Bible said, whatever that is good, praise the name of Jesus. Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 and in verse 8 that is about negative thoughts praise the name of Jesus finally brethren he says whatever that is true whatever that is noble whatever that is right whatever that is pure whatever that is lovely whatever that is ad admirable he said if anything is excellent or praiseworthy he said think about these things these are the things we are permitted to be thinking on not on negative things number uh, the, the next one is fear of change Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and in verse 1 again you will also see it in 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Praise the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes said there is time for everything. A season for every activity. There is time for change. So don't be afraid of change. If you are afraid of change, you will not grow. Another thing is lack of faith. We already know that. Hebrews 16 verse 6. The Bible said without faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you need faith to be able to please God. You need faith to be able to produce, to be productive. For you to be able to move to your next level for you to be able to continue praise the name of jesus to bear fruit you need praise the name of jesus you need faith and the last thing uh, even though i talked about it at the beginning the last thing is all kinds of sin i just brought it together real quick let's go to the book of romans chapter 6 and in verse 23 romans chapter 6 and in verse 23 praise the name of jesus mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is very important that we stay away from sin. Predominantly, sin is one of the biggest things. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Sin is one of the things that can hinder us, that can keep us down, that can bring us down. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The Bible said, for the wages of sin is dead. Praise the name of Jesus. The wages of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Now, we see that every sin, it has wages and we don't want to be paid that way. We don't want to deal with sin. We want to grow spiritually. We want to be able to manifest the spirit. The, 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 we want to be able to manifest the spirit, the, spirit the, the fruits of the spirit, which can all only come as a result of fruitfulness, as a result of spiritual growth. Praise the name of Jesus. So it is my prayer today that when we are seen from afar, we will not be seen as deceptors. We will not be seen as bad that God will help us in our journey, in our race, in, you know, as we move on into fruitfulness that God will help us to bear fruit even much more fruit in the mighty name of Jesus amen and amen thank you so much viewers for watching it's always my pleasure to be here with you my name again is pastor dr. Amakachi Kremeka God bless you and thank you so much for watching till I come your way again next time have a very nice day bye bye City of Light International Church invites you to worship with us every Sunday. Victory Celebration Service, Praise, Worship, Word and Prayer. Time, 10 a.m. CST. Every Thursday, Prayer Rain, a time for word and prophetic encounters. Time, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. CST. Ministry in Pastor Dr. Amaka Chukwemeka. Venue, 
10101 Basonet Street, Sweet K, Houston, Texas, 77036. For inquiries, call 832-526-8181 or visit www.cityoflightinternational.org. City of Light International Church, shining the light of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in every home and in every nation.